welcome to Internet Time Card. What we're going to do now is um, I'm going to show you how to run payroll. So this is the correct way to do it. Um, when you first come in the system, the first thing you want to do is click Time Card Log right here. Then you want to set the starting date at the beginning of your pay period and the ending date at the end of your pay period. Set employees to all and click Time Card Create Time Card Log. So here's the time card log for the pay period. So what you're looking at is the underlying logins and logouts for the pay period. So before you go forward and, and make your adjustments in the payroll report, you want to make sure that the underlying time card records, the underlying logins and logouts are correct. This is important in the event that you uh, ever get audited or anything of that nature you want to make sure that you accurately uh, represent when your employees were there comings and goings. So uh, the way this is read is uh, going from left to right here we'll look at uh, time card records for Shannon. Uh, the date is 11-8-2011. Uh, it was a Tuesday. She logged in in the morning at 8.40. She logged out at lunch at 12.03. She logged back in at 1 o'clock and she logged out at 5. So she has 57 minutes for lunch. She has 8.33 gross hours. That's from the beginning time she arrived to the time she left. And she has 7.38 net hours. That's um, gross hours minus lunch. So you scroll down this report here. And you take a look at this stuff and you make sure that it all makes sense You're looking at these totals. Now if something jumps out at you that doesn't make sense, what you want to do is click this blue ball and you want to make the adjustments here and then update it and then um, you'll come back here with an updated report. Now uh, if your employees are um, working the system properly, and they should, uh, you'll have very little work to do. You know, you just come in here and glance at it, and then you scroll to the bottom here and you click Go to Payroll Report. So here's the payroll report now. So um, what this allows you to do is take that underlying foundation of logins and logouts and add things on top of it, like adjustments and sick hours and things like that. So um, I'm just going to take a look at this stuff here. Now, this block right here on top. This represents five work days for Carlos. So, you, so um, this is the time in and the time out. This is his gross hours. Now, adjustments is up to you. As the time card administrator, if he says, "Well, hey, I logged in, you know, 30 minutes early," or whatever the case may be, but his actual login is something different, you can make an adjustment in minutes. So you make your adjustment here, minus 13 minutes or minus 20 minutes or whatever, and then you, you put in a note here to say why you made the adjustment. Um, so that allows you to adjust off of their uh, in comings and goings, uh, but you want it annotated in the event that you know you need to go back to these records. The lunch is uh, is automatically calculated by the log in and log out. Now, uh, because these guys weren't logging out for lunch, this is in red. Now, seeing as that's a, a fairly standard ploy, I didn't log out for lunch, you know, assuming that they're going to be paid for it, it's in red here. This is a flag to you that there's no lunch minutes. Now, you can manually put them in here. Say you want to have them 40 minutes or whatever the case may be. Uh, it will be automatically calculated like this one here, down here in this in this block here. Uh, this is the one that uh, was uh, auto, you know automatically calculated by the system. Now, um, in addition to that, you've got your banks. If you want to uh, give him two hours of sick time or two hours of vacation time or eight hours of vacation time, you would do it here. And that's pretty much it. You um, you go through down through this system and make the adjustments, and then you update your payroll report. So um, just a couple more things now. 
if you want to do more detail work, say on Carlos here, you would click this edit here. I'm going to open it in a new window. Now this puts in all the days that he logged in. It also puts in the days during the pay period that he wasn't there. Say he had eight hours of vacation here, you know, that he was going to use on Saturday. So you would update this and that would update the payroll report. So um, the other thing you want to do is uh, you notice his name is linked here. You can uh, right click, open a new window. You can, if he had 60 hours in his bank, you could make that 52, update the user, close the window, and now you're done with that and everything is maintained. So uh, that's really about it. So this thing is, is deadly accurate. So when you get to this point, you want to update payroll records with details off. So I'm going to hit that now. And this is your summary report. So uh, going through this, they've got their hourly rate, their gross hours, their lunch hours, their sick time, vacation, holiday, any adjustments you made, the net hours, the total pay, which is their rate times their net hours, any overtime pay that you've given them, and here's their grand total. And here's your, uh, you know, the, your total obligation for the pay period. So these are their individual checks. This is everything totaled together. Uh, if you want to, uh, you can edit this. You click this edit ball. You can make these changes, update the record, refresh, uh, refresh this page, and uh, the, the changes will be reflected. So at this point, you're done. So what you can do is you can go file print print this off, fax it to your payroll service, or you can download it and import it into your payroll service. So that concludes Internet Time Card. That's how you can manage your employees uh, accurately. And uh, additionally, this system, everything you put in here stays in here from the time you sign up forward. So it would conceivably go back years. It's not a problem. So. It gives you the ability to control your business, control your costs, and puts you in an excellent position if uh, you ever have to meet with the Labor Board. Thank you, and that concludes Internet Time Card. If you have any questions, you can email me at johnmills at internetman.com, or you can call us direct at 714-368-1500. Uh, Thank you.